Hello fellow Star Citizens, Scotty D with Icarus Interstellar Incorporated, an organization in the universe of Star Citizen, and my call sign is Zunthrus. Um, making this little video here because of a RSI forum thread about the Thrustmaster T-Flight X HOTAS controllers. Uh, that is an early version of the uh, HOTAS setup that Thrustmaster put out, I want to say about three years ago, maybe longer. Uh, it is one of the low end as far as price is concerned, uh, but I've been happy with the performance I've been having with it. Um, let's see down here. Uh, There's the joystick part of it, and the throttle assembly. So, just so you know, I do have it, I do use it. So, the, the form thread uh, is about uh, configuring issues people have been having with configuring the Thrustmaster T-Flight X. Uh, set up. Uh, initially when it was first being made it was back before the 2 series uh, and uh, that's when they were using uh, XML spreadsheets uh, to do your uh, key associations to the controllers. Uh, when they came out uh, after 2 and uh, your key bindings are in the options uh, that changed quite a bit, and in 2.3, uh, for me, I, I never worried about even thinking about the XML stuff. So, uh, it's not really difficult. Uh, you go over to Options, and our Keybinds, and let me go ahead and minimize, not minimize, I'll take this down here, get my big face out of the way. So you want to go over to your joystick selections, and these are the default sets. And then you have your control profiles. Uh, this is where you can restore, reset the CIG defaults. These three are the three profiles that I've saved, and then they have. Oops, some other defaults, Gamepad Legacy, Logitech, Thrustmaster Warhog, and the Cytex. So, really, um, for making changes to it, it's not very hard at all. Uh, and in the customization, I'm thinking maybe that may be what's kind of confusing some folks, because they give you so many options that you can be able to set up with your whatever configuration you have. Uh, but for the T-Flight, uh, it's, it's not really, you know, don't need to make it harder than it is. Um, you'll see that you have these options for pitch up, pitch down, and then pitch in general. Uh, that goes all the way down the line for these things. Uh, the ones that just say pitch and yaw, that just allows you to straight set it to the axis. So my pitch is on Y, yaw is on X, and my roll is on the twist of the stick on Z. And to change it, you know, you can select it, and it pops up the keys down here. You can unbind it. You can set it, uh, if you use the Y, it'll make it something that you have to double tap. But, you know, just to, if you decide, you know, you come out and you want the roll on your, on twisting the stick, double click it, and it goes to ask for that, and you twist your handle, and decoupled is the same, and there you go, it's set. And you can go down and do this, you can have these each one of these things, if you don't want to use it, you just leave it blank. So if you're, in, you know, if you're really not even sure about what you wanted to do, 
uh, you know, just just leave it be. Just don't don't put anything in there. Uh, throttle up, throttle down. If you want to change it, double click it. If you don't want to keep it, you just leave it like it is. Um, I have it said the, the absolute is here. Um, I'm thinking with relative, I think relative, the difference between that is uh, because the hotel, the T-Flight, you can be in the middle, and I think the relative allows you to have your zero in the middle. I haven't played with that. The absolute all the way back is, is zero, and all the way forward is 100. Um, I might put, I'll end up playing with that a little bit later on. Uh, so all you got to do is just you know go through and and, and decide what you want to change. Um, strafe up and strafe down. I have on my buttons nine and ten, which are on the slider side of the throttle. And then also same thing with strafe. The strafe left right here I assigned to the slider, and so I got it got it that way. It works straight perfectly. Uh, but if you wanted to have a specific button or something, you could set it each one to a specific thing. Now, uh, I've heard recently with people doing dual joysticks saying that they were uh, putting a joystick on the strafe uh, for your forwards and backwards uh, to allow you to have, so you could turn around and start thrusting backward. Um, personally, I think and that's going to end up being considered an exploit because strafe has never been supposed to be something stronger than, you know, your precision speeds to, to help you adjust. But we'll see. Anyway, so the big thing to remember after that, after you make your changes, is one, you want to save it. So you go to your control profiles, and if it's the first time you do it, you're not going to have anything but those defaults in there. And all you gotta do is click on the export control settings, click in here, give it a name. Now I warn you, you can't backspace on this, so if you make a mistake with it, just cancel it and restart it. Uh, but you know, you give it a name, and when you get finished, you won't see it in the list. Okay? Uh, these really do not save and take effect until you exit out of the game and then restart the game. So when you get done with it and get it where you think you like it, then you exit out, relaunch your game. And then when you go back into your options and your keybinds, and go down here to advanced, then you'll see it in the list. Now the other thing to keep in mind uh, as well, especially with us being an alpha, uh, if you do participate with the PTU, I have a separate load. I have a live load on a solid state disk, and then I have the PTU load that's on an uh, external disk. Um, and you want to make sure that you save your exported files your controls and outside of the game folders. Now the game folder is going to be wherever you saved it, Star Citizen, uh, <coughs> sorry, uh, Star Citizen, user, controls, and then mapping. And that's where your export files out. Um, you want to make a copy outside of that and so that you can always be able to put that back in because especially with the PTUs last few times uh, they, they've had warnings up there saying you know we put out a new patch clear your user folder and that so if you clear your user folder you're going to clear your control profile so you're going to have to paste that back in there before you launch the game so it'll be there so just keep that in mind all right So, just to give you a show, real quickly,
jump into the drum sim here. And while waiting this, I know the, the Thrustmaster series uh, also has a way that you can overheat hardwire. Aegis combat uh, assist activated. But you'd have Systems to green. in the Thruster, uh, the, the Thrustmaster's manual for those details. But I, I have not needed to do that at all. So here's our yaw, which is on X, pitch is on Y. And twist on the stick for the roll. And slider goes to the right. Slider going to the left. Throttle forward. Nine button pitching up. Ten button punch pitching down. on the C button. attack as well so a lot of that I'll have for my other control settings but you know you just you know you set it up however you feel most comfortable with it slide around the post so anyway I hope this helps you guys um, if you have any questions please leave a comment uh, and uh, I'll try and get back to you. you know, it's not very difficult at all, and hopefully, those of you who have the Thrustmaster T Flight T Flight Hotas X setup will start having some 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 success with configuring your joysticks. All right. Well, this is Anthrus with Icarus Interstellar Incorporated. See you around the verge.